This week I read chapters 2 and 3 of uh, Abbott, but also over the last couple of weeks I have been working on uh, chapter 1 problems. And in this case, and I'll show you uh, when I go into my notes, I've actually been tracking how many minutes it takes uh, my attempts at each one of these problems, and I did all of them attempted. I think many of them, I, I don't know how many, but I think probably at least 10% are wrong. Uh, and then there's some things that somebody would ding me for. It took me all of 11 hours and 21 minutes over the course of two weeks uh, to work on these problems. So it's going to be slow going uh, working on problems, but it's what I really enjoy anyways. So I have a lot of fun with that. So then to, uh, to the actual content in the book, um, chapter 2 has to do with limits, sequences, series, and then uh, chapter 3 has to do um, with uh, the topology part, which is very light. Uh, coming off of uh, reading all of Conway's uh, points of topology, it was very light. Uh, well done, as always with Abbott, but definitely a very small subset of all the topology that I read uh, in uh, Conway. And then in the case of problems, it was problems for chapter one, which is all about the Cantor set uh, and the uh, completeness of the real number system. So then when it comes to the notes, uh, yeah, I'll go through the notes first. Uh, in the case of the notes, it's really, uh, yeah, all this reading. Uh, so it's a fair amount of reading. And I'm not going to go through it in detail. It's just just to show you uh, the notes. Every now and then I'll do a diagram. Uh, this is material that I've covered. By the time I get in my cycle with Baby Root and Project, uh, by the time I get to Abbott, I've read the material, a lot of it, in different books. Uh, but still, I like to uh, read it again. Read it again, because uh, I think every time that I do it, I'm learning something new. And I'm trying to remember things uh, by heart. There's the Cantor set. And every book, every one of the books that I'm doing in this Baby Rudin project takes a little different of a different take on the material. So that it's not as repetitive as it would be perhaps with uh, other subjects or given the uh, choice of uh, books. Here's the Hein Borel theorem. Call it Hein. I don't know if it's Heine. And uh, yeah, that was my reading. Uh, for chapters 2 and 3 of Abbott. And then for the problems, which, and I love long problem sets. I'm a fan of the 100 page problem set. Unfortunately, in the case of this one, it's only a 36 page problem set. Uh, and yeah, I time myself. Uh, and altogether, yeah, over the course, two weeks, maybe a little longer. I think I probably started a little longer than maybe, maybe two and a half weeks. I would say, gone through. Uh, these are, of course, chapter one problems, so the more basic problems. Uh, and yes, I think, I think I'm going to continue the plan of trying to work out every single problem. And I do think that a problem attempted is always going to be better uh, than a problem not attempted. And so I am not uh, too proud to admit, uh, if I try a problem and I know for a fact that in an exam I would have gotten like a third of the points, a quarter of the points. Uh, but yeah, so th uh, this is really the the way I, that this cycle works in Baby Root and Project. This is the last problem set for the chapter one material in Baby Root and in all the books that I'm working on besides Baby Root. And so the next the next problem set that I will try is going to be all of chapter one in Baby Root and Problems. And then I'll go back and start the next cycle, which is going to be all the point set topology ones and then all the sequences one. And altogether, those, including Baby Root and, well, excluding Baby Root and, no, including Baby Root and, it's a total of 10 different problem sets that I have uh, ready for me to attempt.